There are many studies out there demonstrating the link between weak groin muscles and the likelihood of a future groin injury. And in particular, having strong eccentric adductor strength or strength when your adductors are being lengthened, which is something that happens a lot in physical activity, seems important to consider, especially in prevention, as this resembles the situation where the muscle tenderness structures are at the highest risk of injury. And Born et al. showed that athletes with greater adduction strength were significantly less likely to injure their groin in the future. Long story short, if you do not train your adductors, you are at a higher risk of injury. I will show you one exercise that you can do almost anywhere, requires zero equipment that will strengthen your adductors and reduce your risk of groin injuries in the future. This exercise is so effective that when it was added to a strength and conditioning program for professional athletes, groin injury rates fell by 41% in the following season. My name's Nikki, this is QED Fitness, and before we start, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future video. First up, let's have a look at the anatomy of the groin. The groin is a loosely defined term, but what we are focusing on is the adductors group of muscles. The adductor group contains a bunch of muscles. The specific names of each one is not important because we want to focus on them as a group. The action of the adductor group is to well adduct your leg, but from a functional standpoint the adductor group is extremely important in stabilizing your hips. Science has shown that when you have an imbalance between adduction or internal rotation strength of the hip and abduction or external rotation strength of the hip, then you are likely to experience groin pain. The names of the two movements are quite similar so they can be confusing. A deduction is bringing your leg towards the midline and a b-duction is moving your leg away from the midline. So how are we going to fix this strength and balance? Enter the Copenhagen plank. The Copenhagen plank is very simple. All you need is a chair or bench. Start with your knee on the chair. Position your elbow directly under your shoulder as if you were doing a side plank. From here, we are going to raise our hips up by contracting our adductors. From here, we are going to raise our hips up by contracting our adductors until our hips are in a straight line. The first level is to just hold the plank at the top position. Once you can hold this position for about 30 seconds, you can increase the difficulty by moving the point of contact on your leg further down, which lengthens the lever and increases the demands on the adductors. A few important technique points. Make sure your body is in a straight line, so contract your glute max to bring your hips forward and keep your abs engaged so you don't arch your lower back. Don't let your chest collapse, so keep the top hand on your hip or extended towards the ceiling. But once the static version becomes too easy, we can simply introduce some movement and perform the Copenhagen plank for reps instead of time. Again, the same rules apply. Start off at the knee and lower towards the foot as you get stronger and don't sacrifice your form. Always pick a difficulty level that you can maintain perfect form throughout. So there you go, a simple and effective bodyweight exercise that you can do almost anywhere that will strengthen your adductors and reduce your risk of groin injury. I hope you learned something throughout the video and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and share the video if you think it deserves it. My name's Nikki, this is QED Fitness and remember, knowledge is power. Catch you next time.